Revolutionary forces in Libya are waging a street-by-street -street battle with remaining Gaddafi loyalists in Cirque. They're meeting strong resistance as loyalists use snipers, machine guns and grenades against the former rebels. But they say they're making progress. It just looks like it's, uh, they're on their last leg. We got them in the corner. We're just zinga, zinga, da, da, da. Just taking them out, one by one. The revolutionary forces have apparently captured some fighters close to one of Muammar Gaddafi's sons, but the National Transitional Council has not confirmed if Mutasim Gaddafi himself has been captured. He was Libya's national security advisor and had a strong role in the military and security forces under his father's regime. Muammar Gaddafi remains on the run. And along with the fighting in CERT, his supporters also hold the desert enclave of Bani Walid. But Libya's de facto leader, Mustafa Abdul Jalil, says he expects to declare total victory in less than a week. Although even as the post-Qaddafi era moves forward, signs of Libya's struggle to identify itself emerge. In Tripoli, religious tensions have emerged in the form of attacks on shrines, as Islamic hardliners go after Muslim sects who they see as sacrilegious, spray painting messages on walls and leaving other damage, sometimes even removing bodies from graves. This man says that he saw people moving two bodies from this shrine and moving it to a graveyard for Muslims. The vandalism has drawn concern at the highest levels as Libya's new rulers seek to reassure the international community that extremists will not gain influence in the North African nation. Matt Small, The Associated Press.